I'm really excited. Um, I found a couple groups on Facebook that are specifically for um, people who have psychogenic non-epileptic seizures and it's great because I'm learning about all the different ex experiences uh, that are not part of my own story. Uh, I am kind of desperately seeking to connect with people who have similar stories to mine. It's encouraging that there are so many out there who are voicing uh, the need for awareness, the need for education. It's really heartbreaking how many stories start with, I've had this for 10 years and I, my life has stopped. It's really, it's, it's heartbreaking um, that there is not more awareness about this. It's a psychological disorder, for lack of, better, lack of a better word. I hate the word disorder. I hate the word problem. I hate, oh, whatever. It's a disorder. Uh, it's a challenge, truly. It's a psychological challenge in my book. And as with every challenge, we have the ability to overcome it. I believe wholeheartedly that we have the ability to overcome this. So in my little search, I found that, um, and I will be continuing this, I found that there are a lot of different stories for how people, uh, how they are, I guess, forewarned uh, by their body that they're about to have a seizure for me. In the beginning it's evolved um, in the beginning it was a pressure in my chest and uh, some weird tingling in my head uh, which is interesting because it's not an electrical event that's happening in our brains so I don't know what the tingling is um, the actual seizures mine for a very long time and I guess my my seizure of choice <laughs> for my body are grand mal seizures Grand mal are the most, I guess you could say violent, most um, active uh, seizures. And I know because I have a range of them and those were definitely more traumatizing, I guess is a good word too. So I learned that how people's bodies after the seizure are different as well. Um, I've heard people have their seizures and are able to get up and continue their day. Um, unfortunately, it's continued under this, whatever, however you can imagine feeling, being so vulnerable and having something like that happen in public and then having to continue your day and having people look at you and wonder what what's what's wrong with them or was that even real was that just for attention the most horrible stories I've heard um, and there are some people who lose full consciousness there are people who are just they sleep for days afterwards um, I'm I'm seeking out people who have similar experiences to mine where I I'm a prisoner, essentially. I'm a prisoner in my body when my seizures happen. I am fully aware, fully alert inside. I could tell you what's going on in people's conversations. I am completely paralyzed though. You would not know to look at me that I was at all um, aware. I don't want to say conscious. I, I definitely not unconscious I I can hear I can smell I can I can feel um, very 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 hypersensitive so I have not heard yet of anything more than um, people saying that they'll have thoughts that they can't get out uh, though I haven't heard anything exactly like my story and I'm going to keep searching because it's it's such a good feeling to know that there are others out there who are fighting this fight with me. 
that I'm not alone, that I'm not unique, that I'm not special. And I like it. <laughs> I want to keep it up. I want to build awareness. I want to continue doing what we're doing and and taking away the stigma attached to this, taking away any thought that somebody might believe that this is fake, that it's for attention, that is anything, anything on, in that realm. It's heartbreaking to read things like that. I know it's because I have the same things. Um, like imagine if you know if you were diabetic and, and you saw somebody having you know a, I don't know just imagine anything having somebody say that you're faking it there's so much judgment that goes right into that it's <sighs> Anyway, that is another story for another day of why our world is the way it is and what we can do about it because there's always something that we can do. So I just wanted to share a little bit about, about my awareness. Um, very excited about this conference that's coming up and um, this September 20th in New Jersey, Mawa, New Jersey, and um, it's a free conference, September 20th from 9 to 4, and it's going to be led by um, Dr. Uh, Lorna Myers, who wrote the book Psychogenic Non-Epileptic Seizure Guide, or A Guide. Um, Alright, so that's it. I'm very excited to have new things to talk about and I look forward to uh, sharing more about what I'm learning from different conversations in Facebook and um, and hopefully I'll get to go to this conference and I'll be able to share more of this as well. Okay, thank you so much for watching and please spread the awareness, spread the, the information so that people who are like me don't feel alone like I did. It's great not feeling like the only one out there. Have a great day.